Okay, get your baby before I do. The Roomba needs to be put away. Who's gonna put the Roomba away? Violet, come get your Barbie leg. I do. Stretches? Haha, <laughs> you got a little smile. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep good? You woke up about three times. I love you. Oh, <laughs> say excuse me. Say excuse me. Hi. Good morning. Say good morning. Hey. Oh, that's not good morning. Are you all done? Use your words, please. Use your words, say all done. All done. Did daddy make you breakfast? Daddy got up early to make you breakfast? Yeah. That's so nice. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, okay, let's get you down. Good morning. This is the face of someone who hasn't slept in a month. Mommy, uh, I'm reading. You're reading? What are you reading? Hey, show her how to press the button, Joshua. She will like sit here and whine and whine and whine at this button until it's pressed. And then she does this. Gets right to dancing. Go Violet. Woo! We're just getting ready. Yes, my shirt is ripped. It's a hard life. Um, we're getting ready to go to the Children's Museum to meet up with some friends there. So we're just getting ready for that. Mornings are always chaotic here, especially when Joshua's working, but it's his weekend, so he can help me get the kids ready before we go. It's just gonna be me taking them. Joshua's gonna stay home and go grocery shopping. Go grocery shopping. So, yeah, I got the girls' outfits laid out on the island, and we're just gonna get ready. I'm gonna take off yesterday's makeup that I accidentally slept in because we went to Red Robin last night for like a family thing. And we got home late and we just got the kids in bed and then we went to bed. So, I gotta wash my face. Shoot. Go press that button for her. She wants that button pressed. Go be a good helper. Mama's changing his diaper. She just wants that button pressed. Woo! Thank you. Go Violet. I have it now. Mommy's using it. Crazy hair, crazy hair. Say good morning. You got lip gloss? Yeah. Say my lip gloss be poppin'. My lip gloss be cool. Uh. Or just be weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to finish my coffee here and you acting cray cray. What are you watching? Dog Nick Stuffins. And then we got this little one over here eating baby wipes. Like that's normal. Stay out of the baby wipes. Ooh, wow. Down, 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 top. Okay, bottom and top. Hands are freezing. Just yeah. It's about 8:30. This girl is gonna go down for her nap at nine, but she was playing with toilet paper. So you'd think she had a bloody nose. What, Vera? Yeah. Let me get that toilet paper out of your nose, girl. Wow. So she's gonna take a nap at nine, and then when she wakes up from her nap, we're gonna get going. I just finally got my face washed. Hi guys. Hey. This one. 
one. You want that one? Yeah. So real quick, Violet is napping, so I wanted to show you guys what we have packed for our what? lunch and snacks what? at the Children's what? Museum. Inside. I put cereal in there. Let me eat it. In a minute. So this is Violet's little water bottle that I have packed for her, and then we just got Vera's water bottle at the Dollar Tree. It's frozen too, so she was super excited about it. So we have that packed for her. Fruit snacks, granola bars, applesauce, snack cups with pirate's Mommy. booty, cheese, Mommy. some cut up fruit. Mommy. Yes, Vera. It messes my dress. Yes, it sure does. Yeah. And then just some peanut butter and jelly sandwich squares. So that's for snacks and lunch so that we don't have to worry about yeah. getting lunch there. And then I'm gonna pack a sandwich for myself too because yeah. I know I'm gonna get hungry. Huh? So I'm gonna get this packed up in the diaper bag. We're gonna get you dressed and then we're gonna go, right? No. You don't wanna go? Uh, yeah. We're not we're not gonna wear the Elsa dress. Why? Because I have another outfit picked out for you. Mommy. What? It's so cold. The water's cold? Uh, He's trying to get Russell no. soothed. So you know, like I said, oh my hair, a little cray cray. I was excited to have Joshua's help getting out of the house. He's being real helpful right now. I don't know if you can see that ladder over there. He decided to um, trim some branches on a tree. So, yeah. That's okay. I got this guy dressed. Violet is about to wake up from her nap. And Vera let me braid her hair. Let's go find that girl. What are you doing? Braiding my hair? You're braiding your hair? Like this? Wow. Oh, we don't need to put any product in it, okay? Mommy, no, no, no. Like, That's go. why you shut the door. Mommy. What? Go. No. Mom, I don't shut Go. I go sit down. You're being very bossy. Go sit down. Hi. Shh. Bye. Bear, I was going to wake her up gently. Hi, baby girl. You want to go to the museum? Oh, you're so sleepy, huh? You ready to get out? Going. Yes, going, mommy. You're gonna take your pony with you? Yeah. Okay. Take your arms out, bye. All right. Are we ready to go? Yeah. We're all loaded up. Your headband's falling off. Anyway, we're all loaded up. I'm a little nervous for the Children's Museum just because it's been like a long time since I've taken the girls to something like this. Like pretty much since Violet can walk, we haven't done anything like this because I was like pregnant and tired. And that's a lot of work. So now here I am taking all three kids. May the fourth be with, hey, okay, okay. Lord help us, that's all I gotta say. Meanwhile, Here's my husband, ready to trim a tree. We're going to the museum, he's going to trim a tree. Well, we made it inside from outside. I did not successfully transfer any of these kids. Ah, poor buddy. Poor buddy. Violet couldn't have been transferred anyway because the girl pooped her pants hardcore. Where did Vera go? <laughs> Josh was dry heaving, changing Violet's diaper. Are you going potty, Vera? Buddy. Oh. 
It's okay. He's got bad baby acne right now. Poor guy. Look at his hair. It's kind of reddish. Kind of not. <sighs> yeah, Vera? Okay, I'm coming. Unlock the door, please. Unlock the door. What are you doing? This. That's daddy's. That's All clean? Natural. All clean? That's what transient poop smells like. <laughs> are you all clean? I don't know what smells on there. Russell. Are you happy now? Wow. You want some milkies? I think Russell just wanted some milkies. What do you think? Did he want some milkies? Where did we go today? Oh no. Did we go to the museum? Hi, Violet. Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy oh, got. Oh, I'm gonna fly the we gotta burn the house down. Violet stunk it up too bad. Your brother might want some space. Pizza? The girls want pizza for dinner? This is our life. This is what we do all day, every day. Hey. That's not funny. Violet, don't touch her, okay? She doesn't want to be touched right now. I love you. My girls and my little boy. Mm. Violet, she doesn't like it. Mm. <laughs> no, that's not funny. Dad, go make some white sauce pizza. Where'd your pants go? Where'd your pants go? The good news is I got one child sleeping and it's the newborn. You bought me zucchini. Vera, you look so pretty. Would you like me to knight you? I knight you. Yeah. <laughs> zucchini queen. Violet, go give that bag to daddy. And Vera, go put your baby doll in the playroom. Let's pick up Violet's pants. This house is a mess. It's a disaster. I gotta do everything around here. What? I'm gonna put these pants morning. away. You guys freaking destroyed it. Kids destroy things. It's just what you gotta learn. See, she's trying to destroy me right now. Hey, no hitting. I bought an for you too. Why? Princesses don't act like that. Tyrants do. Oh. Hey, Vera, play nice, please, or you're gonna go to timeout. Okay, get your baby before I do. The Roomba needs to be put away. Who's gonna put the Roomba away? Violet, come get your Barbie leg. I do. I do, Mommy. Okay, go I... put it away. Thank you. Go put it in the dining room. Okay. Thank you. I will. That thing's hairier than Chewbacca. Maybe you should quit shedding so much. Oh, yeah. It's really me. It's <laughs> really me, guys. Good job, bye. Good job picking up. Barrett, go put your pajamas in the laundry room, please. Thank you. I did it. You ready? Thank you. You ready yeah. for mommy to press the button? Go put them in the laundry room, Vera. Yeah, yeah girl. What is it? I don't think she's speaking English. Maybe she's. Uh, Vera, we don't speak Spanish. No, she's interpreting for me. Oh. <laughs> it's a chicken. It doesn't look like a chicken. Okay, so after that crazy half of the day, um, I got home and asked Joshua if I could just go to Hobby Lobby with Russell and he allowed it. So, Russell and I are now sitting in the Hobby Lobby parking lot about to go in. This is like self-care for me because I never get to do this anymore. Like, 
by myself or with just one baby the newborn is even better because he'll just I'll either wear him or he'll sit in his car seat and we're gonna look for things for um, fall decorations for my porch because we still haven't decorated for fall we don't really do too much but I thought it would be fun to have like something to do my camera's gonna die it just alerted me so we're going to go in and see what we can find at Hobby Lobby okay I ended up at Old Navy but I found this sweater on clearance for seven dollars these pants are on clearance for 15 I'm just looking for some postpartum clothes that actually fit me besides wearing like maternity clothes still constantly and um, whatchamacallit just leggings because my jeans don't fit me so I think this is really cute for a good deal and this sweater is on clearance in blue too so I'm gonna get the pink and blue and then I have another pair of jeans to try on that are on clearance too but I think these are a good fit for that postpartum bod well we just made it home and I'm gonna get this crying baby out of his car seat I can legitimately smell the pizza that Joshua made from the garage I can smell it out here it smells so good so I'm really excited to eat that and I feel like I was gone a lot longer than he anticipated but it's okay because I hardly get the opportunity to go with just one kid so I had to take advantage of it come on buddy come on buddy oh why are car seats so dang heavy it's so funny because like you're supposed to be recovering postpartum and then they send you home with this well they don't send you home with it but you have to carry this huge car seat Give him a kiss.